Hi there, my name's Andrew Adams and welcome to another Parker Adams Boat Sales video walkthrough tour. Now I'm here today on a very sunny but very cold day on the Hamble River and behind me I have a Cessna C42. Now this is a really, really lovely boat to bring to market. It's a 2016 boat, it's powered by IPS drive, so very, very special Volvo Penta system where you have pods onto the bottom of the boat and it's the IPS 500s. So the powertrain is the Volvo Penta D6 with 370 horsepower. One of the things that I really love about this boat is that when you're down below it very much has a flybridge feel and you can see from this really spacious saloon area, great driving position, lovely galley area here where you've got actually a really good sized fridge and freezer, really high quality appliances and really spacious throughout. So it feels very much like you're in a flybridge but actually you're not. The style of the boat as you can see is a hard top sports cruiser. Now, there's a couple of videos we've done today. We've already been out of the out of on Hamble today and we've done a drone video on this boat and we've also given a walkthrough of what it's like to drive this boat, maneuvering. As you can see here, the boat handles with the IPS drives absolutely beautifully and turns on a six foot just with a little twist on the joystick. So it's a dream to maneuver using that IPS system from Volvo Penta. So the boat is packed full of really, really nice features and probably the first features to talk about are visible on the platform. See a really good size baby platform here, and the reason for this is because it's actually a high-low hydraulic platform. So this entire platform drops down into the water, and you can see tender chock spots just here. So what you can do is put chocks onto the baby platform, lower the baby platform into the water, and then you can have something like a Williams jet rip that could then drive onto this and then just lift the, boat, the whole baby platform up and the boat out of the water. Such an effortless system. But that's not the only feature on the baby platform. If you lift this up, you actually have a wet bar under here. And so under here you've got a cockpit grill, so you can have a barbecue here with your family. You've got hot and cold running water. And it's really nice to have access so easily to this really good size cockpit space. In terms of the cockpit space, one thing that I really like is this boat doesn't have covers. Covers do tend to drive me around the bend. And although a lot of hardtop sports cruisers only have one cover around the back, it's still one cover. This boat doesn't. It comes with a really nice set of protective covers onto the upholstery, but actually you can leave all of this open. And you've got a really good spacious area here to sit down. So I reckon uh, it's a big table. The table can of course be, be folded slightly inwards, so it turns into more of a, a cocktail table and then automatically drinks holes appear. I reckon you'd fit probably eight people, eight friends around that area there. So a really good sized space. But there is also another feature that I really like just above here you have actually got a bimini cover, which I press the white button on. If I press that there, that this cover comes out, I won't extend it all the way, but you get the idea, it comes out and it covers this whole area. So if you're in the solar and it's a really, really warm, sunny day, or of course down in the Mediterranean, you can just extend that and that makes this boat completely covered to give you protection from the sunshine. So that's a really, really good feature. Uh, down here you've got a large fusion subwoofer, so the boat has got a brilliant fusion sound system which is very, very loud. Um, great fusion speakers throughout the boat, including that sub. I like the wide platform, I like the wide teak that's down here as well. A lot of teak boats, when they have a teak platform or teak cockpit area, they have only probably, what's that, about five, six centimetre um, boarding. This looks like it's probably near a ten. And I think it makes them, uh, this whole area feel quite modern and fresh and totally different to the way a lot of boats go. And also it's laid the other way. So quite often you'd have the teeth that would be laid this way, but on this boat it's laid that way. And I think it's a trick of the mind, but it actually makes this area feel quite a lot more, uh, look quite a lot wider as well. While we're here, I'll have a look down in here. So this area down here, as I mentioned, um, the Volvo Penta IPS drive, so IPS 500s. So it's the Volvo Penta D6 engines. I'll just grab the the camera there. The boat's also fitted with a generator, you can see the generator just down there, batteries nicely in the covers, and then this quite strangely, I've never seen D6s white before, but this boat's actually got twin D6, 370 horsepower engines, uh, which are all painted white, which is really nice, it's slightly different. Um, there's a lazarette space which is accessible through there, and you get to that from the cockpit, so I'll show you that in a moment, but you've got a good easy to access generator, um, batteries, and you can see and the owner looking after the boat and putting a heater down there as well uh, just during these cold winter months to keep the to keep the heat in the engine bay just pass that back again 
Side deck access to get up is really, really good. You've got courtesy lights which go up onto the side decks, and you've got little LED lighting all the way up there, and then really good handholds which come right the way down to here. So when you're going up onto the deck, you've got a handhold here, you've got another handhold here, and then as you say, good access here. You've got two really good wide blades here which would dispel a lot of water. And I talked about the sound system. You've actually got two little fusion sound uh, speakers up here. So when people are chilling up in this area here and you've got sun pad cushions that go over this whole area, you've got music as well. So it's a very well thought out design. Uh, the windlass, you've got your, obviously your up and down controls up here at the, um, the bow as well as being at the helm. And this boat is fitted with a very nice stainless steel anchor. I like a stainless steel anchor. Um, another feature that I really like are these um, fender baskets. Some boats have really large fender baskets on them which can look a bit unsightly but actually these just, <laughs> I should have tested this, um, these just swing down. I can't do it. How bizarre. I should have tested that before but I think they probably need a little bit of grease but these should just swing down which then gives you really easy access just to put the fenders in. I'm going to do it on this side and see if it does the There you go. I should have practiced that. So you can see the fender baskets just roll down. I think on the other ones you can see there's just a little bit of a, um, a nut there that just needs to be probably loosened on the other. But just lift it up and put it out of the way, which is really nice. Not big, clumpy fender baskets. You can see the hard top, which we'll look at from the inside in a minute, has got four windows on the top. And then up at the top, you can see the Raymarine Quantum Radar, and there's also a rear-facing camera. So through the chart plotter, when you're manoeuvring, you've got a camera up there as well, which gives you great visibility. All the lighting on board the boat is LED, which is nice. So that's LED lighting throughout the downstairs. Um, and then also all of the navigation lights are also LED. Right, so let's carry on and go inside. Now, it's actually very, very warm in here because we've got the, um, the Eberspatcher heating, which is heating this boat up very nicely. But I will have terrible hat hair if I take my hat off, so I won't subject the viewers to that, so I'll keep my hat on. Down here, all of the um, upholstery is in a very, very nice brown um, colour, which then contrasts really nicely with the light interior fabric all the way around. You've got blinds at the windows, which makes it have a really nice feel. And then this table can be extended to make it even wider. So again, you've got a nice dining space and you could have a couple of extra tables here as well. I'll show chairs there as well if you wanted to. I mentioned earlier about the lazarette space. Now down here in the lazarette, this is actually the engine area, but it's the back of the engine area. So you've got a really large area there for lots of storage. You can put paddle boards down in there, see anything that you wanted to do. Um, and that also it does give you access to the engines, but to be fair, you're more likely to go down the other hatch to do that. But you've also got generator access there and you, all your access to all your shore powers and your inverter systems as well. Storage on the boat is really good. You've got storage in all of the cupboards that wrap all the way around here. A high-low television is hidden just inside there. And then the fusion sound system that, of course, powers the multi-zones, as we talked about earlier, with the cushions up on the, um, the bow as well. All the LED lighting, I like the little touches, like the LED lighting is square, so it just looks very fresh and very modern. And then as we come further forward, you can see it's quite a multi-layer boat. So if you step right the way down here into the galley area, you've got really high quality appliances. You've got a Miele, a Miele oven there. You've got a coffee maker. He may well be taking that coffee maker with him, I would guess. Um, but what you've also got, i spin the camera around to here, is you've got a full-size freezer full-size fridge which is very very well stocked with with beers and ciders and then storage lockers throughout the whole of this area and it's just really spacious so for a 42 foot boat remembering this has got a really nice um, style of boat boating which is the sports boat but actually it's very similar in terms of layout to a flybridge so let's deal with the helm position first of all the helm position is great on this boat. Now remembering it's got the IPS drive, so you've got a joystick down there, so all of your controls can be handled just here, so you just rest your hand on here. You've got a window that can be opened, so you can communicate there with the people, your crew. Um, you've also got the throttles here and easy to hand. Now, not all IPS boats are fitted with um, bow thrusters, but this boat does have a bow thruster, so you can either maneuver the boat in the traditional way, forward and backwards on the throttles, with the bow thruster or go to the full IPS system. The boat's also fitted with autopilot. You can see here we've got the chart plotter showing the rear camera and then a chart. 
and then a variety of bilge alarms, your usual start carling style switches, and then these Volvo Penta uh, digital displays. Engine hours on this boat, 167 hours, so it's a very, very low hour boat, 164 on the starboard, 167 on port. And everything on this boat is very tactile. So if you touch this here, it's all nicely padded. Um, it's just a nice quality boat. It's got a really nice, surprisingly nice feel to it um, in terms of the way that it's all put together. And I think the colors all work very, very nicely as well. Obviously the blinds work well. The heating vents, the heating vents are actually coming out of these larger areas here. If you had it in the med, I would imagine that could be a dual purpose for both heating um, and also air conditioning. So if we work, work our way through the boat, the storage and access to the bilges, as you go through these, I don't need to show you into the bilges, um, but as we go on through, let's start off with the master cabin. What I always look at in the master cabin is how much space there is around here to get changed in. And actually the changing is really good here. You close that door off and there's plenty of space here to get changed. And you have a large mirror and then access all the way around this bed and a large hatch which lets in lots and lots of light and then these double sized windows so not just a porthole on the side but you've actually got windows cut out uh, onto the side and you have a television so you can sit in bed and watch your favorite movie as well there's led lighting at the back and then a nice fabric headboard so again it's been nicely put together in terms of the design features if we look in the ensuite you've got a nice designer countertop sink um, the toilet space doubles up as a wet room and then that door just folds across which closes that whole area up which means this area here doesn't need to get wet uh, when you're showering as well and then there's lots and lots of storage lockers at the back as well. Close that up. And then a very very similar design uh, to many flybridge boats. In this room here you have a Jack and Jill arrangement so this is your day heads but you've got easy access through that door into the rear cabin. You've got another toilet compartment here which has got a shower in it. Again, the door just closes off and another countertop sink. So it all has a very nice quality feel to it. And if I close that door up, I can then show you in here, turn the lights on in here. There's a very efficient heater in this one. It's very, very warm in this room. Um, again, lovely feel to it. You've got a television in here, so your guests are very comfortable with the television. And again, you've got this lovely window which runs down and lets in light throughout almost the whole of the cabin space here. You've got infill cushions here, which can convert that top um, saloon area into another bunk. And it's just a good size. Again, there's enough space there to get changed and a full size wardrobe as well. <laughs> and a full size, get changed and a full size wardrobe as well. So as we come back out, I've been really impressed with this boat. Sessa is not a brand that we hear a lot about in the UK. Very, very popular boats out in the Mediterranean. The Parkrun's boat says sold another Sessa 42 earlier this year. It was an older style boat, um, but I was blown away by the use of space and how much they pack into the boats. And certainly it's very much the same with this C42. To me, it's a really nice compromise and balance of a boat where you've got your sports boat feel, but the accommodation, the ability, particularly during the winter months like now, to be able to close the doors, put the heating on, and really have an apartment on the water. So I think this is a fantastic boat. The way she performed was fantastic. She popped up onto the plane beautifully. I think um, from memory, we got around about 27, 28 knots out of her, but she's been in all seasons. So I'd expect that top speed to be over for 30 knots. A great boat. So thanks as always for watching. This has been Andrew Adams from Parkland's Boat Sales. If you got to the end of this, you clearly enjoyed the video, so please do like and subscribe to our channel, and we very much look forward to bringing you the next video. Thanks as always.